injury depleted and uh, just the fact that they won two games and was up 2-1 at one point in the series was a testament to how great LeBron is. And um, so, you know, this this is a game that's in Christmas. So, I mean, hopefully Kyrie and Kevin Love and is healthy along with Aaron Rivera, Giles. You got Mo Williams back in Cleveland, so that does help you off the bench with a point guard that is looking to score and getting some points because they did miss that when Ivan went, Iron went down. So this is a Mo Williams that dropped 50 points somewhat last season in the Timberwolves uniform. So, I mean, we know the guy can score, so he's still shoot the ball. So, hey, he's, he's a threat out there. And, and the, Wasp, the, the Warriors roster is pretty much still the same. They did resign Draymond Green back. The only person they got rid of, they, they did trade David Lee to the Celtics. But, uh, and then resign Green back, who was the highest paid player on the team. It won't be for long. Steph Curry is due for extension. And, um, and then obviously he'll get, be the highest paid player on the team. So uh, that that's my second game's favorite to watch here. And then my number one most watched game that I'm circling on my calendar. And thank goodness this is early. The schedule's got this right here. Let it build the anticipation. <laughs> the Clippers, the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Dallas Mavericks on November 11th. <laughs> I mean, if you follow this story throughout the offseason, DeAndre Jordan had committed, gave him a verbal agreement to Mark Cuban and the Dallas Mavericks that he would become a Maverick. Um, only to later that he had second thoughts about, you know, going to – going back to the Clippers. He really didn't have engaged in discussion with himself. So, uh, of course, players and staff met with him, Doc Rivers, and, and all the players such as Chris Paul, which they, they were the allegedly few. I mean, they've they been bumping heads and everything like that. So, uh, you know, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, J.J. Red, some of the players that showed up to his house. And, and if you was on Twitter that day, it was probably one of the best days on Twitter ever where they had a Twitter – Emoticon war where you saw Blake how he was getting to DeAndre place was by plane, by car, and then J, JJ put something like by boat and everything like that. So it just became a whole everybody started doing emoticons, even different NBA teams started doing emoticons. Uh, the Warriors ended up winning it because they had put a trophy and said, Yeah, and put put some shades and on a smile face and gave a thumbs up and said, Hey, well, champions here. So uh, then there's this whole story telling where they, Blake Griffin's taking pictures of putting the chair on the door for Mark Cuban or anybody from the Dallas. We're not getting the door. It was just so much of win that day when it came to Twitter and this whole emoticon war. So, uh, and then of course you had Mark Cuban verbal outburst where he was not very particularly happy about how the Andre Hounder situation where he switched up and decided to stay with the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, basically, he was. They asked him about it, and he acted like he didn't know what player they was talking about. And and uh, so DeAndre Jordan tweeted out, apologized, and everything like that. And, of course, you had the raging fan, Dallas fan, who was <laughs> – if you haven't watched that video, look it up on World Star or YouTube or something. But that Dallas Mavericks fan really, really, really took it there. Funny, by the way. Funny, by the way. But it was hilarious, so. Uh, then you got Chandler Parsons, who was buddy buddy with DeAndre and Eric, DeAndre Jordan, and was definitely one of the guys trying to recruit him. Uh, turn around and saying that you know maybe he wasn't leader material to lead this team, and everything like that. So uh, I, I, I got to give props to Dirk because Dirk stood quiet through the whole thing. So I mean, Dirk really is the uh, biggest loser here because he's they're still trying to you know, build a roster around him so he can try to be in contention for another title. But uh, it doesn't seem like it happened this year, and it seemed like they went to full re. It seemed like they going to rebuild mode by the website they posted on their uh, Mavs.com and everything like that. So it'll be interesting. So I'm, 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 all I want is just a pair of Boston gloves, and, and I'm pretty sure there'll probably be some scruffles and scuffles and fights and well not a lot of verbal jabs and everything like that so I, I imagine it, it should be a fun thing to see and I'm sure it's going to be a lot of hype and anticipation going up and I, I don't know maybe they sent out a hit man that kind of hit hit on her I don't know but it, it'd be one of those games where you want to watch there should be a lot of drama and and uh, hopefully that one lives up to the hype because 
Like that's gonna be a great game to watch. So but those are my ten top top ten games that I'm looking forward to watch and I got a lead pass and I know some of these things gonna be nationally televised and but yeah, that's, that's I'm so happy that the basketball release is schedule out so it's, it's a step closer. You know, the basketball season in October is not too far away, so well, I said, I'm very ecstatic for the NBA schedule. So, but hence, nonetheless, you know, we'll, me and Kevin make this transition back to football. Of course, it'll be me talking basketball whenever it needs to be that. So, uh, when it comes to basketball, at least a little bit until Christmas, because that's when Kevin will check in to talk about basketball is around Christmas. So, I uh, expect for me to handle some of the basketball duties there. So, all right, well, make sure you stay tuned for me and Kevin podcast. Just, Whenever we get to it, I know I keep saying it throughout the week, but it's just been, um, it's, just, it's just been a struggle to try to get some content out recently. So, uh, it's just, it's, so we we're working on a, a better schedule to get some of this content out. And now with football back in full effect, so you'll you'll see the Balls in Our Court podcast being a little bit more active than than it should have been the last few months. But like I told y'all before on the last few episodes, that it, it seems to be a a little snag when it gets to the summer months because particularly I know me and Kevin not really baseball guys. I watch it every now and then and I root for the Red Sox, but I mean I'm not gonna sit there and kind of watch a religion like I do basketball and football. So, uh, but yeah, we, we'll definitely try to get some content out here, uh, definitely here, and try to do some season previews and some fantasy updates and everything like that, so we can keep in touch as far as the fantasy football and who to draft and who to stay away from, and who to keep your eye on if you've been watching some of the preseason games. So, yeah, just just stay tuned with us, and, and just, bear, just bear with us, and we'll, we'll get some content out for you. Uh, if you want to follow the podcast, you can go to the Twitter page. Uh, you just go at Boss Not Court Podcast. You just go to at Boss Not Court. You can follow me at In The Mind of CP. And Mr. Kevin Carter, you can follow him at Kevin C. 2415. You want to go to the Balls Not Court podcast page itself for Podomatic. It's simply go in your web browser and type in endomindcp.podomatic.com. We're also on Facebook. You want to just go to the search bar and talk, type in Balls Not Court podcast. You'll see me and Kevin up there chilling in the picture. So just give us a like, give us a shout, any suggestions, any feedback, anything that you want to offer, uh, please feel free to do so. We're also on iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Windows, Zoom, and many other sites as well that you can find the show. That should do it for us, ladies and gentlemen. Do it for me. I want to say we want to make sure you enjoy the rest of your evening. As I would in gloomy Jacksonville, we've been having some rainstorms over here. But nonetheless, hopefully it's clear skies and, and everything else over your way. This is Cortez Paul speaking for the Balls Not Court podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening.